competition is a good one because it's going to make everybody that participated in this competition to be improved. We are, because you are going to play with different hands, you are going to play with you play with every other thing that comes here because it's going to be a round robin matches. So you will, there is no way you participate that you won't be that you will improve. I am very impressed about the quality of play, particularly coming from those players that we will not regard as grade A players. They, they, we, we, we gave intentionally opportunity to very little players who otherwise would not have had the opportunity of playing against top stars in this country. And they're doing fantastically well, so I'm very impressed. Don't forget that we are starting the league for the first time. Sometime four months ago, we started with a, a trial league and it was very successful so we decided that we're not going to start a normal league for the NTTF and the winner of this championship will go for to the present Nigeria in international events. Uh, welcome back. Um, Dinadi Okonta has um, left and Austin Okonakman joins us and we'll also be talking about uh, the National Table Tennis League. Well, also you were at um, Teslim Balogun Stadium today yeah. and um, you saw a lot of things uh, fill us in with what went down today mm -hmm. and they won. So a show of talent, um, the National League is back, good thing, and uh, we're you know, beginning to sustain the momentum that table tennis is experiencing. Uh, for the Nigeria Table Tennis Federation, they've said that they want to revive the sport. We okay. had the president of sports this morning today, and he says that for them, that um, the attention is to, you know, um, not totally forget the experienced players, but give more attention to the upcoming Keep players. Keep the production line intact. That's it. And then that's what the secretary also said. So it's good to know that they have a focus and they're following it. What again does the league um, offer? It offers um, the players that people don't talk about every day, the opportunity to actually, you know, get some exposure. You know, um, even play with some of them. Um, Rub shoulders with the best. With some of the, well, some of the best players are not here, but some players that are experienced to an extent uh, they are here. We saw Rashida Dugundele. She was at the Commonwealth Games and uh, she played with um, um, what's her name again? Esther Aribamiche from Ekiti. The girl is just 13 and she defeated Rashida. It's a good one for her and her career. And then also, when you look at the championship as as these. Um, the players will look back to something they can actually, you know, used to talk about themselves and, you know, weigh their improvements. And for them, uh, this is something they've always yearned for because they keep saying that they don't have um, tournaments to play where they can, you know, sharpen their skills. So good one for table tennis in the country. Hopefully, it's going to get back its place as one of the, the, the most popular sports. Well, what's country. going to be the duration of, of this tournament? Starts today. Mm. Uh, we are at what it stage? Ends next week, Friday. Okay. But remember, I mean, it's a team tournament. Four players in a team, so all of you get to play. Um, each, you know, you play a, an individual, and then you play um, the doubles, which which makes it, you know, very very. I'm going to put it, make it makes it unique because you get you let's say you win your in the, you lose your individual match you now have the opportunity of we, we pair together and then we, you consolidate at them and then win again so it's a good one that's one of the doubles game played today and good to know that teams are actually come in for the Nigerian Table Tennis Federation they said that they feel bad that a lot of clubs didn't come up at least they have about 16 clubs and that's because they didn't make the sort of noise that they should have made, that's one. Secondly, because a lot of people don't even expect that uh, the league is going to come back. Remember, four months ago, they tried with the yeah. individual you know, um, league system. They didn't like it. Hopefully, they are believing that this team um, system is going to actually get the objective. Uh, all right, uh, as we always do, do you have some names for us? We could, we could write down somewhere mm. and take players to expect big things from mm. uh, in, in the future. Mm. Keep down Esther Aribamiche. Okay, she's Esther fantastic. And she says she's getting ready to leave for um, the Cadet League in Brazil um, next week. So she'll pull out of this championship. She's, she's in a kitty state. She plays good tennis. I also saw some young stars. Maybe if we, if we go tomorrow, go on Sunday again, you would start to see the talents that are bound in this country. Yes, the talents are there. It's until we start doing things as these that um, we will get them. And then for, uh, they also said that they need to still get back to the schools. You know, and I know if they get back to the schools, if even if possible, um, it might not carry any credit unit, but just give kids the opportunity to play table tennis during break Stimulate time. Stimulate the interest. You know, that's it, and that's all. You know, when I was going for this report, I, I saw kids on the street, you know, playing table tennis, and that just, you know, um, sparked up the interest to actually, you know, see that table tennis is doing all it can, you know, to get back uh, to the streets. So for the names, we might not know much for now. 
but by next but week, we'll keep Esther, somewhere. When, uh, Esther is uh, after. I'm, I'm going after that career because okay. I know she's got some good talent and she represents this country someday. She's already doing that in the, in the, in the junior cadets. All right. Well, there's also something about um, tennis uh, that um, in 2020, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the, in the Paralympics, there will be table tennis. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's a development. And things like this yeah. uh, puts us in a good uh, position mm. for events like that. And I, I, I liked what um, the, the president of the federation said. He said it gives us um, enough time in 2020 well. to prepare our special athletes that they've done so well for this country, particularly in table tennis. So. Um, Table tennis being confirmed as one of the uh, the 16 sports that will take place in the Paralympics is a good one for the sport. Why is it good? Because these guys will see reasons to actually prepare for a reason. You know, they have the purpose in mind that they are coming to play on a big stage. And for us in Nigeria, uh, yes, we hear of our, our weightlifters. They're doing so well. Mm -hmm. Our wrestlers are doing so well. We know we have talent in table tennis. The Paralympics is actually a good way. But first, they need to get classified. And that means they need to play regular table tennis, go for competitions, and then qualify to play in the Paralympics. It was a good one that table tennis is part of the form. All right, uh, let, let me, uh, let, let, let's move on and, and leave table tennis and, mm. and, and talk about um, another form of tennis <laughs> <laughs> played on a lawn. Yeah. Uh, let's um, go to Shanghai and um, take a look at, um, uh, take a look at what's, what, what's happening. Andy Murray. Yeah. Anytime we talk about Andy Murray, is that he's losing? Or is that and and when I saw the result, I said, yeah, I mean, we, we did this to, <laughs> to Murray. Um, lost to David Ferrer, and David Ferrer has been playing some lukewarm tennis. He will do well today, and then tomorrow he's not doing well. He's also not on his side. Gradually proving that he can actually be a giant killer. Um, the good thing about this victory is that he fought from a set down to defeat Andy Murray. And um, for Murray, it, it needs to still now go back and say, what's going on? I'm beginning to fizzle out again. Could it be the new coach? I changed my coach. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was saying. Could, it, could it be the new coach? I got, no, a, I got a woman this time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everything seems not to be working. I think, I think Murray just lacks the champion mentality. Okay. He lacks that going for him. He's a good tennis player, but then he gets to that stage where, of course, Everything the powerful cool. media in the world uh, starts talking about you and starts describing you in all shapes and forms and trying to compare it to one of the best tennis players. And then the pressure comes in, and then you lose some focus, and then you lose games as this to, to David Ferrer. But now he's ranked 11th, and the Murray needs a lot of work to actually bounce back. And first, he needs to start playing tennis with some sort of concentration. Yeah. All right, but that's not a story for Novak Djokovic and um, Roger Federer, but um, <laughs> both advanced mm -hmm. as expected. And um, uh, you don't want to bet against the two uh, at this moment. Mm. That's it. We said it yesterday that for tennis, they need their regular guys to keep going on so that the, the championship doesn't lose the flavor that they, they want you to have. But let's not just ignore the other guys that we know can just come out from mm -hmm. nowhere. We saw that at the US Open, you know, it was a big shocker. Novak Djokovic and Roger Federer are playing good tennis at the moment, but Thomas Berdic is also playing, you know, good good tennis. And with a 6-3-6-4 victory over Ivo Karlovic, it shows he's still that giant killer that we know him to Feliciano be. Lopez too. There you go. So for me, uh, I want to see the, the Shanghai Masters get to the stage where we start trying to, you know, say, where's the future of men's tennis going to now? Yes, we'll always pardon um, Nadal for his injury. Novak Djokovic, when we wanted him to impress at the US Open, he didn't. So at this time, um, that the likes of Silic and um, Kai Nishikori playing good tennis, Thomas Berge comes there, he goes out, comes there, he goes, just needs some consistency and the belief, that's the word, you know, to go all the way. You're that's seeing the pendulum see. swing from the top three, maybe to the others. Bad news, makes good news. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, we're going to go on a break now. Austin, we want to thank you for your time yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, nice on, here, on yeah. the show tonight. We're going to go on a break. We'll be going courtside and hopefully uh, we'll be joining our friend all the way from the United States of America, VOA's Sonny Young. We'll be talking um, a lot of things uh, on the show. Join us again.